In this video tech tip, we're going to discuss the trace bitmap command. This command allows you to convert imported image files into vector lines. When importing these image files, you do not get vector snap points, which can make it difficult to draw objects based off of these images. In this example, I have imported an image of a floor plan. As you can see, it would be difficult to draw accurate walls based off of this image because it does not have snap points. However, this image can be converted to a group of vector lines with snap points. With the bitmap selected, go to the Modify menu and select Trace Bitmap. In the Trace Bitmap dialog box, you need to set the thin line threshold and the collinearity sensitivity. The thin line threshold sets the maximum number of pixels to be recognized as a single line, and the collinearity sensitivity sets the segment size and accuracy of the trace. Depending on the quality of your image, you may set these options higher or lower to produce the best trace. In this case, the image I'm tracing is fairly high quality and the default settings should work fine. After making any adjustments, click OK to start the trace. Depending on the complexity of the image, the trace can take as little as a few seconds or as long as an hour. The trace bitmap command has created a group of lines based off of the image. We can now draw over top of this group using its snap points as references. Next, I will set the layer options to gray snap others and create a new design layer to draw on. As you can see, I can now quickly reproduce this plan using the snap points. The trace bitmap command can really speed up your Vectorworks workflow. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to visit kbase.vectorworks.net for more video tech tips and other technical info. Thank you, and have a great day.